Hi guys, I'm back. Sorry I've been MIA. There's just been a lot going on at home so I haven't been able to film. I'm back to film tonight for a long requested everyday makeup video. I did try to film this a couple of weeks ago and upload it but it was 25 minutes long and I tried to upload it for like a week and it wouldn't work. So what I've decided to do this time is I've decided to film it in like maybe three parts. So then you can choose to watch whatever part it is you want to see and you don't have to watch it all at once. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to jump straight into it and I'm going to start obviously with the foundation. So I've got my Inglot Under Makeup Base. Now what I'm using today is what I is my go-to look for work. What I do every morning because I've got it down to about 20 minutes. I know that's a long time for some people to spend on makeup. For me it's not with this skin. I love to cover it. <laughs> so first thing I take is my Inglot Under Makeup Base Primer. I take about a pea size amount of that. So if you can see that there. I rub that between my fingers and apply it to basically where I want to be filled in which is my acne scarring and my pores. And spread it all over the face. Like so. I like to clean the primer off my hands because it is a silicone based primer. Next I take of course my Holy Grail foundation, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Coverage. I'm actually in shade 1. Now that tells you how white I am and it's still I think a fraction too dark. But the light, there is a lighter colour number 11 but it's very pink based so I can't mix it with that. So I take that just on a palette about a pea size amount well that's a bit more than a pea size amount but you know and what I'm going to do I don't know if you can see it right now but I'm getting I've got like a pimple here but the way it feels I think it's a cold sore so just to be careful I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to apply my foundation with my finger there only because the last thing I want to do is contaminate my makeup and my brushes and I am prone to cold sores when I'm stressed out so that looks half blended. What I will do now is I'm going to take my foundation brush. This is the Sedona Lace FB07. This isn't my favourite brush. If I would have to tell you my favourite brush it would be this one which is like a rounded kabuki. Um, I'm not sure of any brands or numbers that are um, knockoffs for this, I know they're a knockoff. Um, I get these ones from Crown Brush for $20. I love these brushes for applying foundation. But they're all dirty, so today I'm using this one. And basically, I just dip the foundation in there and start buffing it into the skin. And I know this looks very yellow on my skin tone. But that's because of all the scarring. And when you like kind of go down my chest more, it's quite yellow. So yeah, my skin, my face is much redder than the rest of my face. Hang on, the foundation? No. Oh my God, the skin on my face is much redder than the rest of my body because of the acne scarring. And basically I just take that and buff it all over the skin. I'm just going for even coverage at the moment and then I go in after and top up where I think I need extra coverage. Don't forget to blend down the neck. I think blending is a very important thing to learn. And it's one of the things, I don't think I really valued the importance of blending until I was quite into makeup. Because it makes all the difference than having that mask face going on. And come down as far as you need to. If you've got a foundation that matches perfectly, just buff it in along the face. 
me, I don't think it's a perfect match. Especially, I find this foundation does oxidise a little bit, so I like to take it down quite far and back quite far. And then I'm just going to go back on the areas I think need extra covering. big red nasty thing there that won't cover okay so that's basically the foundation then I'm going to take my under eye concealer which is the Estee Lauder Disappear Smoothing Cream Concealer I actually still use this in the number three and you can't notice it so I'll take a bit of that onto my palette also. You only seriously need a tiny amount of this one, about that much. I've had this one for over a year and I use it basically every day. The only time I've not used it every day is to try new products and I always go back to this one. And as you can see, although it's in number three and it's not the lightest, it still blends really easily. I haven't really got into the whole, you know, highlighting under the eyes or my passion for makeup is to cover my acne and make my skin look as best as I can with the acne. I did, did I show you how much it was there? Well, that's the pile there. And as you can see, I still have quite a bit of the foundation left, but that doesn't matter. And then I just like to go along and tap it along the edge just to blend. Next, I take my Ben Nye setting powder. I put it in this container because the container you get, get it in, it doesn't, you can't use a brush with it. So I get my brush into the container, basically swirl it around, tap off as much as I can, blow off any excess, and then, oh shivers, I just went over my spot, which I think is a cold sore. I forgot for a second there. So right, lucky I only use my brushes once before I clean them, but I still like to avoid it if I can. So there you go, that's basically my foundation routine. It hasn't really changed much since my update of foundation routine. I think I've really found the foundation routine that works for me. Um, that's what I do, and we'll move on to the next part. If you want to see that, look for part two.